You ever wonder how close you can get to a running jet engine before it just sucks you in? Well, today we're gonna find out. There's some comments I've seen on my channel and some other friends' channels too, and there's always comments about the air intake either being too close to something, that you're ruining the airflow, that it's not gonna run right, it's not gonna be efficient. There's been some comments on my channel too about being sucked into the jet engine because you're so close to the air intake. Granted, those seats are pretty close to the air intake on that jet, but how close is too close? So that's kind of a question that I'm gonna try to answer to help myself realize how much air that that jet uses and really where the safe zones are in front of it. So that turbo jet that I have moves 55 pounds of air every second. So, you know, I can visualize 55 pounds of, you know, water or, or weights at the gym or whatever. That's pretty easy, most people can do that. Air and gases are kind of hard to really understand how many pounds of air there is. So it's a difficult thing for me and others, I think, to visualize how much air is actually being sucked into that jet engine at wide open throttle. So today we're gonna try to figure out a good visual representation to show that air. Keep in mind, my jet engine that's on the pontoon is a turbo jet engine. So there's no bypass. And what I mean is that it has a compressor that sucks air in. The uh, combustion chamber has lots of fuel that's added to it. And the fuel and air combination is what makes the thrust. Now, like modern airplanes have turbo fans. And a turbo fan is that same concept of the turbojet except there's a fan blade that's much larger connected to the front and that blows air around the jet engine and out the back so it makes thrust kind of twofold so those do move a lot more air in front of them and you have to be much more careful about how close you get in front of those engines because those ones have in the past stuck people into them um, and it usually doesn't end very well but in my case with the turbojet, I want to do the experiment to see how much air moves in front of it and how far back is really a safe distance you need to stay from it. So the hard thing with realizing how much air is moving into that, it's a, you know, a suction problem, right? There's a vacuum, there's a pressure difference in suction happening. And what really happens, you know, an inch in front of that jet versus six inches versus a foot, a couple of feet. It's hard to say and visualize without some sort of visual aid to show how much air is being sucked into that turbojet. So that's what we're gonna to do today, is realize how much air by getting some smoke devices, filling the area in front of the jet with smoke at different distances, and then we'll see how much air is actually flowing into that jet. Let's head to the store, get our smoke devices. Let's make a design in a little enclosure to safely hold those devices so they don't get sucked into the jet engine also. And then we'll fabricate that up, get the jet fired up, and then see what it looks like in front of it. So let's get started. Also, for those of you that don't know, that don't follow my channel, the jet engine is strapped to a pontoon. So if you're interested in more of that content, there's a bunch of videos on my channel. Uh, there'll be a lot more of that coming. But in the meantime, let's do this experiment. All right, so it's ready to go. We got all our flares ready to go, the fixture set up, got our ear protection, and we got a crowd of visitors today just because who doesn't want to see a jet engine run? Um, suck a bunch of smoke, would be cool. So let's get it fired up and uh, get outside and see what happens.
And right off the bat, you can see how much the air velocity increases the closer you get to the front of that jet intake. And you can even see here that it's pulling air from behind the jet forward, so that's interesting. And for comparison, let's see how fast the air is coming out of the back of the jet engine. And the air coming out of the back is coming out so hot and so fast, you can only catch little puffs of smoke. I wouldn't recommend standing anywhere near the back of that. We've done a test to see what the air in the vortex looks like. So let's add an object with a little bit of mass in front of the jet and see if it pulls it into the grate or not. So we've got our science stuffed animal. You ready? Uh, <laughs> okay. So what do you guys think? He's probably two foot from the air intake. Do you think he's going to get sucked in? Only one way to find out. Okay, that might have been a little too close. He got sucked in. So let's try it from the driver's seat. Rev it all the way up and see what happens. Well, hey guys, thanks for hanging around. I hope that was somewhat informational. It was a lot of fun for us. I hope you learned something too. The result of this test would be don't get close to a jet engine intake, but I think in my application, we're probably safe a couple feet away. You can see that air velocity really increase the closer you get to it. If you want more jet engine videos, jet engine content, and more experiments and things we can do with this until the spring comes and then we can get the pontoon back on the water, please let me know. And if you have any comments, suggestions, leave them below. I hope you enjoyed the video and consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.
She's gone. <laughs>